Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back to another video. And in this video, I'll be doing an overview of these two Walmart exclusive gold label figures. This is going to be Owlman from the Forever Evil storyline and Robin from the DC vs. Vampire storyline. As always, I'll be talking about the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture and paint, and if it's worth your purchase or not. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the support channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. So let's take a look at each one. We'll start off with Owlman. So, front of the box. This side. The back. The other side. Top. And bottom. Alright, now let's take a look at Ramen. Front of the box. This side. The back. The other side, top, and bottom. All right, now let's take a look at each figure outside the box. As always, you do come with a card. Front of the card looks like for Owlman. The back of the card. And for Owlman, that's all it comes with. No accessories, of course, with the puck. And for Robin, the front of the card looks like the back of the card. And Robin does come with several accessories. Comes with his katana, which is pretty clean looking, nothing too crazy. Nice paint gold on there on the handle. And it's not that flimsy compared to other katanas, but it's fine. It comes with a wooden stake. Nice little detail on the handle, which I like. It also comes with several hands, so this is his left pointy hand. His left trigger hand. His right fist. Not much to it. And last but not least, his right claw hand. And of course... Robin comes with a puck stand, regular puck stand. Now let's take a look at Owlman. We'll start off with the articulation on this figure. So, head, left, right, up, down. Up, down is not the greatest because it does hit back here, so keep that in mind. But left, right, shoulder. Ooh, it's a little, it's actually pretty stiff right now. The shoulder articulation, bicep, elbow. Wrist, torso, not the greatest torso, and swivel, Ooh, it's a little stiff, leg, knees, Ooh, stiff, ankles, and last but not least, toes as well too. So overall, the articulation on this figure, it's good, except for the head. The head does hit back here because of the actual helmet piece. But apart from that, though, it's good overall. Now let's talk about the figure and this head piece. Right away, this head piece looks really, really, really nice. This is the one Owlman figure that I actually wanted. Because when I think of Owlman, I always think of this kind of color. The blue with that gray, obviously, helmet. And ever since I saw, what movie was it? Um, not movie. It was the New 52 DC Omnibus Volume 1. And I saw All Man. I'm like, dude, this looks, this guy looks crazy. And then I understood more about the history of him. But anyway, so this, when I think of All Man, this is the color palette that I always see him. And man, this head sculpture is, it is really, really, really nice. You got the painted lips on there, the painted face. You have the eyes, eyes on like light blue. They're a little bit of glossy blue on the eyes, which is fine. Then you have around here the eyes. You got like, kind of like a, uh, I don't want to say it's a copperish kind of paint around the eyes. Very, very subtle. And of course, the gray for the, the actual helmet. And then you have more of that textured here in the back. It's black. And then texture design on the very top. You see that right there? Right there. And so overall, I got to say, this helmet looks really, really, really nice. Very simple, clean looking, but I think it looks very, very good. And then you have here the arms. The arms have this weird design on the bicep. 
Then you got the tricep as well too. The designer here. Shoulder is very plain looking. Then you have the gauntlets. I do like the design on the gauntlets. You got a little detail here. Also on the wrist as well too. I mean on the hand itself too. And then the other side is going to be identical as well too. Has a weird design there. And then the torso has of course the Owlman logo on there. And if you get this figure, make sure you actually check it before you actually open out of the box. Because I have seen people where the actual paint is like dripping. So keep that in mind. So if you do get this figure, make sure you check the owl. Because again, the paint's been dripping on some figures. And then you have here a little bit of design right here on the chest. You can see it very subtle, but it looks really, really nice. Around here in the upper chest. Then you have the abdomen. Has this really cool like armor design type of thing. Then you also have the sides as well too. More sculpture design on the sides and here on the actual ribs it's pretty plain looking which is unfortunate but it still looks good though overall then you have the cape the cape looks really really solid i thought it was going to be a transparent cape but actually it's not so there's the back of it i do like how it's very very stylized and it's not really like silver it's like a pearlish kind of silver with blue and white kind of hard to explain but I, this whole time I thought it was going to be transparent and I thought it would be really really cool and it kind of looks like it in certain angles when you have a certain light to it it kind of looks like it's transparent but it's not but again here's the cape which looks solid and there's the back of the figure itself a little bit of design here on the back you can see the actual tricep design right there floor back is very very clean plain looking and so overall this figure the upper body looks really, really nice. Then you have here on the shoulders, nice glossy black, which I wish this was either this glossy black or this kind of black. Because it's a bit mixture like which I'll show you in a bit, but I wish this kind of matched up with this. Not a big deal, but just for me. But overall, this figure, I gotta say, looks really, really, really nice. And again, to me, when I think of Owlman, this is the color palette I always think of Owlman. Don't get me wrong, I like this other one, which I'll compare it in a bit. But this one, though, this is the one I've been wanting, and this is the one that, when I got it, I was like so happy and excited, because yes, I finally get this version of Owlman. And so, McFarlane did a really good job with Owlman, and I'm really digging this figure. Again, you have to see it in person, especially the helmet. The helmet looks really nice. On camera and images, it looks okay, but I'm telling you, when you see it in person, it's a lot, lot better. Then you have the utility belt. You got the Owlman logo here on the utility belt. And the design of the belt, very, nothing too crazy. The paint is like a, looks like it has a glitterish kind of grayish on it. Kind of hard to tell, but it looks like it has a little bit of glitter. There's the back of the utility belt you can see right there. And then does he do squats? Yes, he does. There's the back of the legs. The legs have this kind of weird design right there you can see that perfectly and a little bit of the hamstring muscles not too muscle tone back of the boots design there's a side of the boots oops let me move this right there side of the boots come on camera pick it up there you go side of the boots on there and the feet as well too again a lot of design on the feet i'm pretty sure some people can customize it maybe paint right here inside in between maybe like this kind of blue or gray just to make it pop even more here we have the thigh muscle. Let's kind of have like a regular textured. More of that design right here as well too in the inner thigh. The knee pads. Nice, simple, clean looking. And there's the front of the boot as well too. It looks nice. And so overall, this figure, I gotta say, great looking figure. Like I said, this is the one I wanted and I got one. And to me, this is a great looking figure. And for the price that you're paying for it, which I'll talk about in a bit because it is missing accessories. But again, I'll talk about that in a bit in terms of pricing. But overall, I got to say, McFarlane did a really good job on this figure. And again, I'm really digging this figure. Damn, this cape looks really nice. Again, I just wish it was transparent. I don't know. This whole time, I kid you not, I kept thinking this is transparent um, cape, but it's not. But so far, really liking this Walmart exclusive figure. So good job, McFarlane, on this one. Now let's take a look at Robin or Damian Wayne, the vampire. We'll start off with the articulation. So head, left, right, up, down. Not the greatest, but it's fine overall. 
There we go. There's some, but not a whole lot. Shoulder articulation limited because it hits right there. Bicep. Elbows. And wrist. If I can figure out which wrist is it. I know it does articulate. Just not a, not a whole lot. There you go. Right. How do they articulate? I know it does articulate. Just mine is a bit stiff. It doesn't want to articulate. Torso is going to be <laughs> nothing because it's all one piece. Swivel, just right here in the lower body from what I can tell. Oof, yeah, yeah. So it does articulate just the lower body, but not the actual upper torso. Leg, articulation. Knees. Ankles. It does hit right here, so keep that in mind. And toes. There you go. As well. So overall, the articulation on this figure, it is limited here and there, especially the shoulders. So keep that in mind because it does hit right here. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about this figure because when this figure was announced, people were like, okay, let's see how this looks. And then images appeared and people right away hated, hated this headpiece. And honestly, it's not that bad. Is it the best one of the vampires one? No. Is it the worst? Yeah, honestly, yeah. But when I say worst, I don't mean it's like horrible. It's just like, eh, because all the other ones, they really look solid and they stand out. This one, it does stand out, but it's like it's missing that vampire color skin tone, which I'll show in a bit. But regardless of that, though, you have to admit, it's a pretty good looking vampire headpiece. But out of the other ones, all four of them. There's four of them, right? Joker, Lantern, Superman, Batman. This is probably the weakest one, which I'll compare it to another one. But anyways, look at this headpiece right here. One, we'll start out with the mouth. The mouth looks really, really solid. You got the painted teeth, the tongue on there, a little bit on the lips. Then you have the red eyes. The red eyes looks really, really nice. You got the little mask on his face on there. I like that grin on it. You can see that grin very, very subtle, but it looks nice. And I like how one eye is bigger than the other one. Very little detail like that makes the figure pop more, especially the headpiece. You got the nice stylized hair, just black, and I don't see any blue marks on just all black hairstyle, from what I can tell. Yeah, and so this headpiece, I gotta say, it looks really good, but yes, it's probably the weakest one out of all the vampires ones so far, and I think it's because of the paint, which again I'll show in a bit. And so I gotta say, the headpiece. I have to admit, it's not that bad. I'm telling you, it is not that bad. When you get it in person, I guarantee you're going to be like, yeah, Mondo, it's not that bad. I mean, it's the paint. I think it's the skin paint that's going to... It's holding it back. Then you have here the shoulder arms. It gets hitting right there, so you do have limited articulation. But it does have here on the arms that kind of... Green Lantern kind of... Texture, that's what I call it. Then you have the forearms, very, very slim arms. And then you have the fists on here and the hands. Not much to it. And the other side is going to be identical, but this is going to have the trigger hand. And then you're going to have the actual suit, which looks fine. You got the Robin logo right here. And then you have here the cape. The cape is short and small, but it is kind of stylized. It does have a leather look to it, which I like. Of course, it's not real leather, but you get what I'm saying. So it's black. But it looks like it's like a faded black. And then, obviously, it's going to be yellow. Then you have the hoodie on here, which I thought it moved, but it doesn't. Nice outline right here of the hoodie. And then you have, like, the Under Armour right here that's going to be orange. It's more like a light red than orange. Now, if you're looking at this figure, you're like, Mondo, it looks familiar, but it's different. Because this figure is a hybrid of two figures, which, again, I'll show you in a bit. And you'll be like, oh, okay. And so, oh, I'll talk about that in a bit. And then you have little buttons on here on the side. And that's pretty much it. And so overall, I got to say the upper body on this figure, it's it's fine. It looks good. It's a Damian Wayne figure. The scaling is perfect. The cape is fine. But again, the head piece is a standout. And again, it looks good. But the skin tone paint, I think that's the problem with it. And so, you can, look at this cheek right here. Just notice that this cheek is a lot bigger compared to this side right there. And so, overall, I got to say the upper body on this figure, 
Again, it's Damien Wynn. It's just going to be the headpiece. Utility belt. Nice paint on it. It has like a little bit of like a gloss yellowish kind of to it. Let me see the back of it. Actually, let me see the back of the figure. Wow, the back of the figure is very, very plain. Utility belt looks nice. It's very separated. I like that. You know me with the utility belts. I like them separated like this. Here is the back of Damien Wayne. Does he do squats? Uh, let's lift this up. Uh, sure. There's the back of the legs as well. The hamstrings has that kind of textured. The lantern's textured. And then you have here just very plain looking legs on the back. There's the side of the leg. You got a little bit of design here. More of that Green Lantern texture. And then the side of the boot as well too. Kind of weird texture. And there's a shoot as well too. I like how the W on it for Wayne. I like that. And here is the front of the leg. With the knee pads on there. Very simple clean looking knee pads. And then the shin guards or the boot. And then in front of the shoes as well too. Just plain green on the lower body. Especially the legs and the boot. And so overall this figure. I gotta say. It's a fine looking figure. It's not amazing or great. Also not the worst thing ever. But I know a lot of people are clowning on this figure. Because of the headpiece. And again it's not horrible. It's just the skin tone that's going to be the deal breaker and again i'll compare it to other figures you're going to be like okay i see what mondo's saying but overall this figure as is i can't really hate on it it's a nice sculpture design figure and so for the price where you're paying for it which i'll talk about that in a bit i can't really hate on it so again good looking figure the headpiece is great but the skin tone is what holds it back so i'm i like this figure but of course, the main question is, is it really worth it? Should he go out and get these two figures? We'll start off with Owlman. For the price where you're paying for Owlman, I think it's fine. I wish it came with accessories. It doesn't. But for what you're getting, I think it's a nice looking figure. So for 20 bucks, I gotta say, yeah, it's fine. Now for Damian Wayne, Vampire Robin, for 20 bucks... I gotta admit, that's probably a better deal. Because you do get a several accessories. You get a katana. You get a wooden stake. Granted, it's small. You get two other pairs of hands. And on top of it, you get a nice Robin figure. So for 20 bucks, you get more value for your money in Robin. So, again, for 20 bucks for both of them, you can't go wrong with it. But to me, the better deal is going to be that Damian Wayne. Regardless of the price, still, what I think about these figures. Like I said, Owlman, heck yeah. I'm glad I got one. This is the color pad that I want for Owl Man, especially the helmet. Boom. Loving it. For Damian Wayne, I like Damian Wayne. I think the figure looks nice, like I said. The headpiece looks good. The skin tone, that's going to be the big thing. And so for what you're getting, I can't go wrong with Damian Wayne. So overall, what do I give these figures? They both get a thumbs up for me. As much as I like Owl Man, I really do. Just missing some accessories. That would be cool if we got like an Owl battering type of thing or something but for Damian Wayne it's a hybrid of two figures but you do get a lot of accessories you do get more bang for your buck so again for either or for 20 bucks can't go wrong with it and again thumbs up for me here we have both Owlman figures this is going to be the Walmart exclusive one and this is going to be the Target exclusive one this one came with the Star Wars Builder figure uh, piece now in terms of the differences there are some differences. One, obviously, going to be the paint. Obviously, utility belt's going to be different. The helmet's going to be different. The gauntlets are going to be different. You can see, very subtle, but you can see the gauntlet there. And this one has this kind of outlook to it. Cape design, it's going to be identical. Of course, the color pad is going to be different. Boots as well, too. They are identical. Knee pads are going to be slightly different, and I mean slightly different. Actually, there's not even slightly, it's quite different. The thigh muscle is going to be the same, utility belt, like I said. And so, again, this is just a, I don't want to say just a repeat because it isn't, because there is some other stuff to this particular figure. So, it's a reuse of a previous figure, but he did add something to it, so... I'll give McFarlane kudos for that because he could have easily just repainted this one with this color palette. 
new helmet and that's it. But no, he actually added some, some differences to it. So thank you McFarlane for that. Now as mentioned regarding this figure, it's a hybrid. This is what I mean. So the body of this figure is going to be the Infinite Frontier storyline Damien Wayne. But the color palette is going to be from the previous one, which I believe it's Rebirth. So that's why I said it's a hybrid. You get this kind of sculpture design, but with this paint. And then you get this, and of course with a different helmet. So again, I like this figure. I think this one looks better because there's more paint job like application like look at this here on the side right the shoes the knee pads as well too here it's just all painted green painted all green green right also too this is also painted as well this was just black and of course the color palette on here is going to be similar to this one here we have damien wayne again but this is going to be from the bat family yeah, pretty sure they have Bat Family, Amazon exclusive, and of course the Vampire one. I like this one a lot because the gold on this one, it it's like a nice shiny gold to it. I don't know if my camera can pick this up, but the gold on here, like the accents, it really does shine and it makes the figure pop even more. This one, you can see here the gold or yellow mustard color, just very plain looking. So I think maybe head swapping this one to here and make this... Vampire pop a little bit more with that color palette right here. Here we have Owlman next to, I believe it's Superwoman, if, correct me if I'm wrong. This is also going to be the Target exclusive Stauro build a figure figure. A great addition to the DC Multiverse. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten another one, if I remember correctly. This is the only Superwoman figure that we've gotten. But when I think of Superwoman, I always think of, again, this Owl, this version of Owlman. So... These two look very, very well next to each other, and yeah, again, great addition to these multiverse. Here we have, I believe it's Ultraman, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, I always forget his name. And it's going to be the evil version of Superman from the Crime Syndicate, and of course, Owlman. I do like the scaling, how he's a lot taller, so good job McFarlane on that. I don't remember which version of Owlman this is. I mean, Owlman, Ultraman. Either it's from the two-pack with the very hideous... Superman headpiece or the Target exclusive. I want to say it's the two pack, but I could be wrong. So I have an image somewhere to probably the, the left. You can see which version of this Ultraman is. Here we have two other vampires, Walmart exclusive figures. We have Batman and of course Superman from the Vampires storyline. Now, as I mentioned, of the skin tone, I mean, look at this skin tone right here on the Batman and look at Damien, right? Now look at Superman and look at Damien. So the detail on this headpiece, it's there. I just think it's the actual tone itself, skin tone. Because think about it. If this skin tone, right, look at that. Matched this skin tone right here. Kind of like it's all ripped up and ripping type of thing. I think the Damien Wayne figure will look a lot more better. And people wouldn't like pick on it per se. Because when you see this figure, you're like, damn, it looks menacing, right? Look at all that detail. But when you have, imagine this figure having this skin tone, it'll be a little off. You see that? So I think that's the thing that's unfortunate is that skin tone. Because, again, the detail and design, it's there. Just the skin, that bright, pale skin, it just, it looks a little off. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me on these figures? Do you plan on purchasing these figures? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not support channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. This includes an overview of Owlman from the Forever Evil storyline and Damian Wayne Robin from the DC vs. Vampire storyline. And on to the next one.